With the AI tools for creators that are currently available, we can turn ourselves into anything we can imagine. We can completely change our environment, which I showed you how to do in the last video. We can work more efficiently, and we can even tell better stories. For example, if, if you're telling, telling a story about a young woman who is working a lot later than she should be, and when she feels the warmth of the setting sun on her skin through the window, how it reminds her of when she would get lost in the melodies of her guitar, and how they were complemented by a stranger she would never meet. All she knew was that he was somewhere on a lower floor, playing beautiful music that perfectly matched her own. You can do it all with AI. Back to you, Nick. Remember to subscribe, y'all. Pretty incredible, right? Well, with these tools I'm getting ready to share with you, you're gonna be able to do things like that, and you're gonna be able to work a lot smarter when it comes to making your content. So let's start right now with the very first tool, Kyber. Kyber is a video to video, image to video, and audio to video generator. You can use it to make horizontal 16 by nine ratio content, or you can use it to make vertical content if you're uploading to YouTube Shorts or to any of the other vertical platforms. It's ridiculously easy to use. All you have to do is upload your content into it and then type in what you want that content to be and what you want that content to look like in terms of the style. This is so easy to use. They even have presets in the event that you can't come up with any ideas on what you want it to look like stylistically. Another advantage with Kyber is it's super cheap. I've made over 100 videos with this and I'm still not even halfway through the credits that I've purchased. The next tool on the list is called Runway. Runway is also a video to video generator or you can just type in what it is that you want it to make and it will just create stuff. But one of the big advantages of Runway is that they have an entire suite of video tools. So for example, if you want to remove yourself from your background without even using a green screen, you can do it with Runway. If you just want to upload a single image and see what it can do with it, you can do that in Runway. For me, I'm currently using Runway to experiment with B-roll ideas. I used Runway for most of the cartoon animation that you saw at the beginning of this, and I'm using it to remove the background from my videos. Next on the list, we have a site called Leah Pix, I believe is how you say it. It's a pretty cool tool, like you can see right now, what it's doing to just a basic thumbnail, and then if you upload other images into it, how it just adds so much depth to them. So it's really interesting to look at and can make the video just a little bit more engaging in that regard. But this is another one that's super easy to use. All you have to do is upload the image that you want into it and then it will take over from there and then you can adjust whatever settings it is that you want to adjust. Next on the list is Mid Journey. Now when it comes to Mid Journey, this is something that you have to have a Discord account in order to be able to access. Once you have a Discord account, what you can do is you can create your own room in Discord and then you can invite the Mid Journey bot into your room and then you can make any images you want and it's all going to be contained in that room. So it's great for organization. But when it comes to Mid Journey, some of the great things that you can do with it is let's say that you're trying to come up with an idea for a thumbnail and you just don't know where to start, then you can just type in something about the topic of the video that you're talking about and then Mid Journey will create something around that based on its knowledge. But if you know what it is that you wanna create, the images you can create inside of Mid Journey will completely blow your mind if you haven't used this yet. Next on the list is a few different products from Adobe and I'm gonna group these together because it's important that you know about these as well because you can do some really amazing things with them. The first one is Adobe Firefly. Now with Adobe Firefly, you can upload images into it. So the workflow to use it in your videos is to take a screenshot out of your video, upload it into Adobe Firefly, and then add whatever it is that you want, bring that screenshot back into your video, and then you can mask yourself out in order to show all of the things that were created by Adobe Firefly. I have a step-by-step -step video showing you how to do this and using Photoshop Generative Fill. I'll link that at the top of the screen and down in the description. The next Adobe one is Photoshop Generative Fill. Now, if you're already a Photoshop user, then you've already played with this probably, but you have to have the beta version of the new Photoshop in order to use it. But with Generative Fill, you can take any thumbnail, you can take any image, you can take any screenshot from your videos, and you can manipulate it in ways that you can't even imagine if you haven't experimented with it yet. What do you think is going to happen to creators who don't embrace this technology? I think they're going to get left behind, but what do I know? I'm just some guy on YouTube. So now let's move on to the workflow side of things. As a content creator, it's important to optimize your workflow, especially if you're somebody that's not doing this full time and you have a job or school and other obligations where you can't spend tons of time doing this. Now, leveraging AI, it's gonna speed all of that up for you in major ways. The first tool on this list is TubeBuddy. Now, for those of you that used to be TubeBuddy users, and let's say you're not using it anymore, or if you're somebody that's never been introduced to TubeBuddy, it's time to check it out. And the reason for that is because they've introduced some really cool AI stuff. One of the 
those tools that is currently in beta right now is they have a thumbnail analyzer that is helping to predict the likelihood of people clicking on your thumbnail, which is pretty incredible. For those of you that make shorts, they also have a tool that analyzes your videos and lets you know the parts of your videos that would make for the best short based on how people are responding to them, which is also pretty cool. And of course, what would a YouTube tool be these days without the assistance of writing titles? TubeBuddy's AI title suggestions will take the title that you write and it will give you different options to see if there's anything that you might have overlooked in terms of an impact word or something like that. But it's a really cool tool to just run your video ideas through in order to make sure that you're writing the most impactful title that you can. The next AI tool on the list that has AI features integrated into it that you can start using now is TubeSpanner. With TubeSpanner's script writing tool, it's completely different than what it is that you would get out of something like ChatGPT. So with ChatGPT, you say, hey, write a script about this, and then it gives you a starting point there, or it'll just write the whole script if you're not customizing it. With TubeSpanner, it's a different approach because TubeSpanner doesn't want people just copying and pasting the scripts out. They want the human element added back into the script, right? Because we're creators. And because of that, and our need as creatives to inject ourselves into what it is that we create, they have something called hold and replace with their scripting tool. So basically, it'll write the script for you. And then from there, you can add whatever it is that you want to it manually. You can hit different sections of it and you can tell it to rewrite that particular section or expand that particular section. And then from there, you can export it all and then you can customize it from there. So it really helps you fine tune your scripts. It also gives you an initial structure that you can work around. And it also has a timer that gives you a ballpark idea of about how long it's going to take to get through it. In addition to that, they have a do next feature. What this do next feature does is it looks at what's going on in your YouTube channel and it gives you suggestions on things that you could do next. TubeSpanner also has chat GPT integration built directly into the browser extension. So what you can do is if you're just brainstorming on something, you can interact with Kim, who is their AI assistant, and she'll give you feedback on whatever ideas or whatever it is that you're working on. The next tool on the list is Opus Clip. When it comes to Opus Clip, you can take one live stream or long form video and you can convert it over the course of a handful of minutes into a humongous pile of YouTube shorts. Keep in mind the streams that I'm uploading into there are just a little bit under three hours because there is a three hour limit with Opus Clip, but it's given me back around 30 to 50 clips from that live stream that I can then start publishing to YouTube and any other vertical platform that I want. Because the clips are AI generated, it's not perfect, but they do have an edit feature where you can go in and make adjustments if you need to. And just so you have an option, there's another tool that's very similar called SubMagic. The whole entire thing is pretty much the same, but if you're not getting great results out of Opus, you might want to try that one. Or if you're not getting great results out of that one, you might want to try Opus, but they're all AI generated. So the results are probably going to be similar outside of the way that they caption. Next on the list is Adobe Enhance. If you're somebody that has trouble making your audio sound good, like let's say your microphone isn't that great, or let's say you record outside or something like that, Adobe Enhance is the solution that you're looking for. It can take audio like this that's directly out of my phone with no microphone in a room where I have air conditioning running and it can make it sound like this, which is pretty incredible. Now this next tool is another one that is absolutely mind blowing for me. It's where you can type in whatever it is that you want it to say and the audio that it gives you back, it sounds like a real person or a professional voiceover actor. It's incredible. The tool is called Play HT. It's the one that I used for the animation that I did at the beginning of this video. But what you can produce out of it is absolutely incredible. And all you have to do is type in what it is that you want it to say, pick the voice that you want it to say it in, and then download it. They also have a competitor called Eleven labs that has similar technologies. It was in that moment that Nick realized he should have signed up for the affiliate programs for all of these tools. But actually, he'll go ahead and do that now. Another really cool thing that you can do with these, which is something that Descript has had for a while, is you can also train them on your voice. So let's say that once you get it trained up on your voice, you have a day where you're sick and you do screen recording tutorials or you do something else where you're just making things with your hands, but let's say your voice is gone. In that particular case, you can add your voice to this and it can give you your voice back with whatever it is that you type. It's not perfect yet, but it's really close and it's absolutely mind blowing, at least to me. If you wanna continue going down the rabbit hole on these AI tools, make sure you click into this playlist right here where I'm collecting these videos and make sure you bookmark it too because that's where I'm gonna be adding these types of videos. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.